And what do you think he looks like? Oh, how lovely. It is dangerous. You look very well. You made a terrific recovery. Thank you, Leslie. I owe a great deal of it to you. Glad I could help. See you all later. Bye. What was wrong with Leslie? I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't notice. She was so curved, almost cool. Well, I wouldn't worry about it, Alan. She probably has problems of her own. Well, we must try and find a bit more sympathy for her, Monica, after all that she's done for us. I don't think there's much we can do. Uh, maybe she... She got a little upset seeing our baby. Why should seeing our baby affect her that way? Because she been told that she can't have any more children of her own. I didn't know that. Well, well, it isn't really mm. something that you want to talk about. How does Rick feel about that? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I I know he's looked forward to having children. I I think it's just as important to him as it was to you to have a son. Now I would like to see Mon. Hi. No. <laughs> Can you spare me a moment? Oh, of course. Is anything wrong? Is Monica all right? No, 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 she's fine. She's a little tired after the excitement of seeing the baby for the first time. So she's back in the room resting. It's you I'm concerned about. Me? <laughs> what do you mean? You look very unhappy. Oh, Alan, you're imagining things. I'm not imagining anything. It's in your eyes. You look very sad when you're looking at our baby at the oh, window. That's just... I'm just jealous because I don't have a baby of my own to go home to. Mm -hmm. Is that the only reason? Well... Yeah, to be perfectly honest, I'm a little down because of Laura, too. I think of it, she's 18 today. I have a grown-up daughter. I never had the fun of watching her grow. That is sad. <laughs> but think of it this way. Laura's going to have children, and you and Rick will have the joy of watching them grow up. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, thank you for being concerned. You know me, I'm a, I'm a very teary lady, especially at Christmas time. Every every year when Steve tells that story, I cry in exactly the same place. <laughs> no, it's more than just that, isn't it? I mean, maybe it's uh, what happened this past week. Yeah, well, I guess things did start to grab him a little bit, maybe. Uh-huh. Delivering Monica's baby, fighting to keep them both alive. I think maybe they did crowd on him just a little tiny bit. Laura Weber Baldwin, you have never talked to me like that before. Do you mind? No, not a bit. You realize your only concern is for someone other than yourself. Maybe I'm growing up a little bit, huh? Oh, I think you are. Happy birthday, darling. Mother, it feels so good to care about somebody else instead of myself all the time. And I'll tell you something else, too. I'm going to make it up to you for whatever it is you feel that you're missing. I'm going to have children one day. They're going to be grandchildren. You can spoil them. Oh, and I will. I will spoil them, and I will love them, and they'll be everything I ever wanted. 